Hi kids! Today we're doing a new video. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas panning project. This was started by Jessica and Amanda on the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group and I was super excited to do this because it's my favorite Christmas movie and yes it's a Christmas movie it's not a Halloween movie. Anyways this is running from June 25th until December 25th and you have 13 Halloween products because 13 and Halloween woo. and then you have 12 Christmas products which 12 days of Christmas equals 12 that's 25 products that's the nightmare part yeah 25 products so let's get into this Halloween my first product is a Franken Shadow palette. Yes, I made all of these powders from like it's like eyeshadows, but there was like a little tiny bit of eyeshadow or it wasn't quite the same color or the color that I wanted. So I made this and it's pretty darn cool. I'm really liking it. It's not as cool as I thought it would be the the colors aren't showing up as vibrant as I would like them so I guess that I don't think it's the pressing I think it's just I didn't do what I wanted but I'm really proud of myself for making an entire palette it's the first time I've done that and this is 104 grams I think it's not feasible at all to use up all the product in here but I'd like to hit pan on some of these um, they're real easy shadows to work with because they're kind of muted so you, you can just kind of do all over lid colors or whatever so I am liking that next is this is a blush that I did the same thing and it was just a little tiny bit that I huh. it's just a little tiny bit on there um I wasn't sure how this was gonna work out so I didn't do a big blush and besides who needs another big huge blush so I just took what I wanted pressed it and it's a beautiful peachy it's a beautiful peachy blush. I really like it. I think it'll be nice this summer. And that blush weighed 62 grams. Next, I have two products here. NYC powder products. Remember NYC? It's been a few years, hasn't it? Because they don't sell this in the United States anymore. So, the scary part of these is how old they are. This is the City Proof Long Lasting Powder in Translucent. Yep. It's not even opened yet. Yeah, that's how long I've had this. It's not even opened yet. This weighs 41 grams. This is the NYC Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. Remember when this was all the rage on YouTube? Well, I've used it quite a bit. I'm wearing it today. I've been using it. And it is 40 grams. And if you look, as much as I've been using it, there's still embossing left on there. You can see the embossing. I, I mean, I just, these are old. They need to be used. Okay, next. Scary, scary product. This is the J Cat Beauty Love Struck Blusher and Bronzer in Sweet Pea Pink. The reason this is scary is because I have been working on it for like two years and it's still there. So, um, it's a scary, scary blush. Next, masks because you have to wear a mask on Halloween. So this is just like uh, an eye mask. So like, you know, like this eye mask. So you can look like a raccoon. 
No. It's an eye mask from Sephora. It's the grape ones. I've never tried anything with grape in it, so I don't know exactly what grape does. High performance biocellulose patches. I still not sure what it does. It just says smoothing and toning. I eat a lot of grapes. I've never noticed anything. Okay, and then this is a full sheet mask, and this is Esfolio Volcanic Ash Essence Sheet, or Mask Sheet. I haven't tried this brand yet, so let's see how that works out. And then next... Kat Von D. It's one of her everlasting liquid lipsticks, and this is in the shade Mother. Well, that's creepy enough right there. Mother. But, um, the creepier part is all the diseases. Ooh. So, um, that's 16 grams. Next. This is the Tarte Man Eater Self Sharpening Eyeliner. Not my favorite, and I can't, I can't, oh, that shut's so tight. I can't, like, make it twist up because then it doesn't, it's, anyways. Um, not my favorite because there isn't enough product that sticks out. I mean, it's like I'm always, like, hitting plastic when I'm putting it on. I like the product itself. It's a packaging issue that I have. Next. Tarte. Or not Tarte. I'm sorry. Pixie. Pixie by Petra. Both Pixie and Petra have bad connotations in my brain. Pixie was an insult when I was a small child. Petra brings back bad memories from my tween years. Anyways, there's like, so I've never bought anything from that brand because I just, the name of it brings back bad memories in my head. Well, this I got from the traveling makeup box. I'll link that up here. Um, and I tried it, and I love it. I'm going to repurchase it. It's that small right now. It's really tiny. I don't think this was a full size. I think it was a, like a travel size or something to begin with. But, um, I love this eyeliner. I'm wearing it today, and I'm loving it. Next was... This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. And this is in the color really light, super light, fair. That's what it is. Fair neutral. Um, this has an expiration of six months, so I'd like to use it up. And what do you do on Halloween? You stay up all night. All nighter. Yay! And you conceal your identity. Yay! It totally is Halloween. Okay, next. Halloween. First of all, there is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Because, you know, all the perverts come out. Whatever. Anyways. Perversion Mascara. I really like this mascara. It's a nice mascara. Next, there is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. Because I'm assuming because she's shooting people because it's dangerous on Halloween. So, I don't know. Uh, whatever. Okay. And then, next, we have Christmas products. 12 Christmas products. First of all, I had to start off with the Too Faced gold, Chocolate Gold Palette. I, I relate this to Christmas. It's chocolate and 
it's covered in beautiful wrapping paper. Just like Christmas. Or, or Willy Wonka. But anyways, we're going with Christmas right now. Look at this palette. Tell me that is not beautiful. It's stunningly beautiful. I love this palette. I think it's really, really beautiful. It has all those glittery, beautiful... Oh, and it smells just like chocolate. Yeah, this screams Christmas to me. This is 232 grams. Next is Cake Heavy Cream Rich Vanilla Shea Butter Deeply Nourishing Smoothing Body Butter Balm. Totally to die for. It smells like cake batter. It smells exactly like cake batter. It's really super thick and it smells like cake batter. It's amazing. That is 222 grams. Then there is the Nasture, Nasture Juicy Pomegranate Sheet Mask because this is kind of Christmassy to me, pomegranates and stuff. That, that kind of goes from Halloween to Christmas, so. And then there is the It's Skin Tea Tree Balance Mask Sheet. I related this to Christmas because it's a tree. Hey, give me some slack here. I had problems. Okay, next, there was the Smashbox Primer Water. This is a spray. I really like this. I use this, like, almost every day. This is the best spray ever. And I got that in a Christmas set, like, right after Christmas. I got that. And I got the primer. And I got the primerizer. So they're all in this. They're all in this um, together. So the spray is 42 grams. Then there was the Smashbox, the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. I really like this primer. I haven't used it for a while, but I remember really liking this primer. And this is 19 grams. And then... I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is like a primer and moisturizer. And I use it on my face for a primer and a moisturizer. Sometimes I'll use another primer because this is a moisturizing primer. So it really makes your skin feel good. But then right here, I need more pore filling. So, um, I have to use another primer when I use this. And that is 22 grams. Next, Pretty Woman. It's a nail polish and it's in the color berry. You know, like berries. And this is 55 grams. Next. Elf. It's Christmas. Why not? Elf. This is a translucent powder. It works fine. I don't have anything wrong with it. And it's a small powder, so I don't think there'll be a problem getting through this. This powder is 61 grams. But a lot of this is packaging because the pan is only half the size. There was a little, like, spongy thing in there, but nobody uses that. Next, there was the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow Ultra Metallic, and here we go again. So, this is beautiful. Look at that. Uh, I have to swatch it. It's too beautiful not to swatch. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Oh my goodness. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, when you want to be really shiny, 
that's what you need to use. So that here we go again is 20 grams. Next, Mark and Marrakesh Eau de Toilette Spray. This is 215 grams. I love this bottle. I think it's beautiful. This is like from when I was selling Avon, so that's pretty long ago. It has a very spicy smell to it, like Christmas. Christmas to me is all spicy, and I love this. It smells so good. It's kind of a strong scent, though. You don't want to spray too much. Man, it smells good. And then next was the Blistex Medicated Berry Balm with an SPF of 15, and this is 9 grams. I haven't used too much of this. I use it every day, so I'm sure I'll go through it pretty good. But uh, it's kind of new. But I really want to make sure I'm using something with an SPF on my lips all the time. Because when I'm out in the sun, that's the first thing that gets affected. And that's it. That's 12 products. So, 25 products. Wow. So we're going to have a lot of fun with that. And, and you know, actually a lot of these products should be pretty easy to use. So I don't want to get sparkly metallic gold everywhere. So hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll link everything down below, the participants and everything. And don't forget to subscribe to them as well. Bye!